It may sound funny but not everybody knows that Adolf Hitler suffered from farting problems. So much that when he used to eat with other people, it was unbearable for the other commensals, especially after dinner. That's why Hitler often had to leave the table to go into his private room. In addition to flatulence, Hitler suffered from stomach cramps, constipation, and diarrhea. All symptoms, however, would usually worsen when he was stressed. The problem was so unpleasant that convinced him to adopt a vegetarian diet, but he had no idea that a high-fiber diet made his flatulence worse. On top of that, he loved sweets which didn't help. Therefore, in 1936, he decided to seek the help of Dr. Theodor Morrill who managed to quiet Hitler's farting but only for a while during which he earned his trust. Morrill was chosen as Hitler's personal doctor and followed him wherever he went. Morrill became a multi-millionaire as a result of his new position. For his flatulence, Hitler was prescribed Mudaflor, a probiotic, and Dr. Koster's anti-gas pills, which included strychnine, a rat poison. Theodor Morrill, who lived between 1886 and 1948 knew very little about his field of medicine. He was disliked by Hitler's inner circle because he was considered a charlatan and he was dubbed a Reich Master of Injections by Hermann Goering, Hitler's right-hand man. Moral was considered harmful to Hitler's health, but although he was warned about it, they were ignored by the Fuhrer. Hitler became a drug addict because Moral injected him with barbiturates, opiates, and amphetamines on a regular basis. In total, the doctor gave Hitler 74 substances that worsen his health. In addition, among the substances provided to Hitler, Moral included heroin, cocaine, methamphetamines, oxycodone, testosterone, and strychnine. At the end of World War II, Adolf Hitler was physically debilitated. Even Hitler's mistress Eva Braun protested about Morrill's activities because his hands were so littered with injection marks. <laughs>